For people living in isolated rural areas, roads are a lifeline. A lifeline to markets to sell produce, a lifeline to hospitals, a lifeline to the rest of the world. And building them is a way to provide jobs, as many as 10,000 person months of employment. In Armenia, rural highways are, in fact, called lifeline roads. But decades of neglect after the collapse of the Soviet Union meant roads here were slow, dangerous, and unpleasant to use. Repairing them is quite a task. The distance from our village, Haikavan, to Gyumri is 10 kilometers. It used to take an hour to pass it by car. Once, people could not take a sick person to the city in time, and he died. And there was a woman that nearly gave birth on the way to the hospital. Now it is excellent. One can reach Gyumri in 10 minutes. Transport has become active. Buses and taxis easily come to the village. Overall, there is development in our village. It was lifeless before. The Lifeline Roads Improvement Project began last year to connect 75,000 people in 44 rural towns to main highways, big towns, and the capital. Originally, the plan was to fix 100 kilometers of road. The project ran so smoothly, workers were able to improve 118 kilometers. And it has employed local workers, hit hard by Armenia's 20% drop in GDP because of the global financial crisis. Many of these workers would have looked for jobs far away. It's good to be employed in my own region. People can't live without work. I used to leave for Russia for seasonal work. However, the salary we get for this job is almost equal to the one earned in Russia. In addition, I'm with my family. I sleep and eat in my home. Local farmers benefit as well. A World Bank study earlier this decade found that, in some villages, farmers lost up to 80% of their harvest because they couldn't get it to market quickly enough. So the World Bank has offered advice on this new project. We take the harvest to sell on our own, by our own cars. Previously, the roads were in poor condition. It took a long time to cross the three-kilometer section of the road to reach the highway. It's good now. We get there in five minutes. The project's been so successful that the Armenian government and the World Bank are now working on an additional 140 kilometers of lifelines.